Hi, I'm HP and your friendly guitar from the neighborhood. You already hear was the topic of um, this month's lesson of the month. Um, rockabilly, hillabilly, psychobilly um, guitar. Kind of the style of Chuck Berry. <laughs> Um, actually, the, <laughs> to tell you the one story, um, when I started with guitar guitar playing, I was at the age of 20, one of the very first things I could play was the intro of Johnny B. Good. After half a year of that, um, I was playing a, a like six-month guitar and only could play this intro and, of course, the ring guitar <laughs> and so on. And... Then I wanted to join a rock and roll band, a professional as a piano player. I was a professional piano player at that time. And this guy told me, no, we need a guitar player and only could play this tune. <laughs> and so, but then I played it and picked out the, the licks of this intro and he liked it. And I was in the band, in the professional bands. And I only could play that one little intro of um, Johnny Be Good. <laughs> And so I'm going to do the same thing to you now. We're going to check out some ideas from this intro and check out some rockabilly specific guitar things, um, which is very useful if you love this kind of music. And yeah, that's it. Uh, maybe the first uh, thing you want to know is this typical rockabilly sound. You take any kind of a Fender amp or a Fender amp simulation. Or you can take any amp, put it on a clean setting, maybe a little bit, slight little bit distorted, but only a little, little bit. And then you put the delay with a very short delay setting. In this case, I have 117 milliseconds. And the spring reverb, as on the eight, or old 50s amp, they all had spring reverb. And that's it. <laughs> And so on. Yo, now <coughs> I have a cold. So now let's check out the, all the things now we're going to learn from the close you. Now first I'm going to play the, the rhythm guitar for you. And you can check out the rhythm guitar. This one is a very easy one. We play with the track here. Pretty fast. <laughs> That's the whole thing, it's not really too hard to play. It's pretty fast, it's uh, 190 beats per minute. But the main trick actually on the rhythm guitar, of course the sound setting as I described before, and but now it's um, you have these accent settings. I mean, you know, you know, know these normal patterns. So we have that one, it's this pattern which repeats itself all the time. That's the whole thing. Also on D and on E. That's not too hard. But the main trick is now put the accent on two and fours and you have here you have alternate picking technique and be relaxed in your attacking hand, really relaxed. And then set the accent on two and four, and that's what really makes it groovy. I learned this in this rock and roll band I played, you know. See here the ta da ka da ka da ka da ka da ka da ka da. And really go for it. Put the one a little bit softer before. And now when you when you change the from A to D, there's a little trick. The last upbeat on the four end, one and two and three and four is open. You don't hear it when you play it fast. And that's really the great thing. That's the main trick when you want to play it fast. And yeah, let's check it out. Now you know how it works. And 
so on. If you want to play the hardcore time, you can also play it up here. But actually, um, it's up to you. It was also cool when you say like between, now I was a humbucker setting, single coil setting is a little bit more 50s style. Or now you see the difference when you play it here, the A in the 5th fret, it sounds much different than here. And these are the little tricks you need to know if you want to sound authentic. This one a single call now humbucker. I would maybe I would play the rim guitar with single call. Cool stuff anyway. So that's more or less the rim guitar. Read the main trigger, stay relaxed in the tacking hand and put the accent on two and four. And that's the main thing. Um, even if you play uh, as the original Johnny Be Good, as you remember. <laughs> And so on then. That's more straight ahead. So, but it's the same thing. So you have. This case is a shuffle groove, but um, if you play it straight, you hear you have this um, this delay. And in this case, I would play it here because then you can play with the damping technique. But, but it's the same thing, accent on 2, 4, and when you change on the 4 end, you make this open thing. And so on. So, now let's check out the rhythm guitar. As I said, when, when you know the intro of Johnny Be Good... Uh, wait, let's check out the closer. Yeah, because um, now because you don't need to see my picking hand now. So the intro of Johnny Be Good is that's the main thing actually. It's, it's uh, actually in A in this case. The original is in B flat, but in this case it's in A. So we have here um, fifth to sixth this hammer. This double stop slot is very important. You will see afterwards when you go in the soloing. This is the first part. So. And then here double stop again in the seven. And then slide, still in A. Light here is still A. Six, five, seven, five, hammer on to six. And now comes the second very important part. You can make this this very typical Chuck Berry lick, but also he, uh, Rockabilly lick. This. Or you can make. And that's the whole thing, so. All you need to know the intro is a little bit more longer, but today is a rockabilly guitar, so we just need to know these few things. Now, what you can take out of um, the main licks, you can take out uh, this is this double stop sliding link, and then we are going to add any kind of additional double stop. But this is the main thing, and the other one is this, or also or if you want to go on the low position. So now let's. Try one <laughs> with these. <laughs> so 
So see, that was the the whole thing. We just had the first part. We just repeated as long the, uh, we were on the A. When it switched to D, then we also went here to this additional lick, and then uh, as a highlight on the end, we did the double stop. Well, maybe that's a little bit boring, so we add another one, but a pretty easy lick. We but we play double st uh, double time. This one here. It's actually not too hard to play. You make the double stop here. Fifth again, and here the eighth, you make pull off. And then the fifth of the B string. And the trick is you make down stroke, up stroke. This way you can play very fast. And since this is, we play in sextals very fast. It doesn't sound too hard, but you have to play it in timing with the track. And then I ended up with this from the entry lick, still Johnny Be Good. <laughs> Here with the hammer on fifth on the sixth. That's the whole thing. I mean, these licks are only three licks, but mostly have one chorus solo, and <clears throat> then you really can go for that. And you can sound wild uh, even if you only know three licks, as I did. <laughs> so let's check it out. <laughs> Now we have a full chorus, <laughs> and that's really the main trick behind it. And you can make any kind of variations out of these three licks. Also, on the double stops, if you what I know, can sometimes do is I uh, add this one up here, here in the eighth, and here in the seventh. Also, here, double stop. Double stops are always cool on, on the rockabilly. Eighth, uh, seventh on the G and B string. See? Let's check this one out. Of course, you can play much more complex stuff on uh, this kind of genre, um, but the thing is, um, it doesn't really sound good. I mean, I was playing this band, was my first professional band, when I was, as I said before, I was playing uh, guitar for a half a year and then entered this professional rock and roll band, and um, I tried all the stuff, but the main things which really made people run wild was this. <laughs> And you can make any kind of variations you want, and that's the main thing. If uh, over double stops, you can make a little bit more double stops, as I showed, but that's it. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you really want to play original stuff, I mean, some of the uh, the guitar player of uh, Elvis, he did some more stuff and some more sophisticated double stop stuff, but still, um, it's it's works around this main things I showed here. So, um, <laughs> let's hail rock and roll. What was that? 